Normally speaking, the short timer and the target will get connected automatically after you power them on. But if you find they cannot get connected, please make sure your timer has this, this wireless icon. And also make sure the target, you put the antenna, this antenna to the, to the target. If you confirm both of them are okay, they still cannot get connected. The timer and the stop target must share a different RFID number. Then we need to change them to the same so that they can get connected. We can see there are two different lights here. And when we power on the stop target, these two lights will flash and their flash times stand Flash times means a number. The first number of the RFID is 4 and it's fixed. And the second number is the flash times of this orange light. The third number is the flash times of this blue light. Okay, we can try. We need to count the flash times of each light. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Okay, that means the the RFID number of this stop target is 432. To change the timers, to change the timers RFID number to 432. And and then and then go back to the home page. Then power it off first. Then power on. You will see they will get uh, connected automatically. And you will also see this icon. Here, this means connected. Okay, we can try.